Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if you're feeling the vibe anytime during this video, please consider hitting subscribe. I am not going to waste any time on this intro. I have 37 skincare empties to get through. 37, 38, 39 empties. I counted. It's actually 39. <laughs> So first up cleansers, let's talk about the Hada Labo Goku Jun Oil Cleanser. So if you're a longtime viewer of my channel, this is not a stranger to you. You know I've used this for many years and I've gone through many refills and this is another one. And that's what I love about this, it's refillable. So you get the bottle once, but then when you want to fill it back up, you buy the refill. You can get this on Style Ivana or Yes Style. I like it because it works. It's a nice light, um, like light to medium weight cleansing oil. It's not really, really, really thick thick it works on makeup and lots of thick layers of sunscreen really effortlessly and it doesn't leave a film on your face so this is definitely an affordable staple for me I'm keeping this bottle and I'll refill it again next up is the beauty of Jason radiance cleansing balm this is my second empty of the cleansing balm this is the cleansing balm that made me love cleansing balms this is the bomb and the superpower of this and the reason why I'm so in love with it it works on waterproof mascara like nothing else does. This is such a champ when it comes to taking off stubborn eye makeup and it has just been such a wonderful uh, cleansing balm for me that is just really effortless. Next is the Pixi Hydrating Milky Makeup Remover. This was actually sent to me um, from the brand through PR and I actually enjoyed this. Like I think this is pretty good. I don't have a ton of use for a dedicated eye makeup remover just because things like Beauty of Just On work a little bit better or even my cellar water to keep things simple but like if you're in the market for a fragrance free um, eye makeup remover I really do enjoy this this is a biphase product so that's where it's like the liquid and like the oily kind of part are separated and you have to mix it I find those to work really effectively and yeah I definitely feel that this was a nice like I said fragrance free gentle eye makeup remover speaking of micellar water this is the Rovectin marine micellar deep cleansing water so this is my second empty of this um, I am a fan I think that this is really refreshing really light it doesn't have that soapy residue that some micellar waters can have this just feels really like I said refreshing on the skin so I emptied all of those first cleansers and I only have one foaming cleanser to show you I have been um, going through a lot of different um, foaming cleansers and I've got a bunch of bottles that are like this full or this full but one true empty is the beauty of Joseon green plum refreshing cleanser this is a great jelly cleanser it's got that bouncy um, gel jelly type of texture that I find really gentle on the skin it has like mild foaming action but it doesn't super foam up which I find the cleansers that super foam up can sometimes be a little bit more drying on the skin so I find this doesn't strip my skin but it actually cleans really effectively and it's beauty of just on so it's like very affordable too like what's not to love okay next up is toners and essences and I have so many empty like my mind is blown I have so many to go through first let's start with the La Roche Posay Thermal Spring Water. This is supercharged water. It's great for your microbiome, which in turn helps your skin's moisture barrier. It's extremely gentle. It's just supercharged water. There's nothing else in it. So yeah, I like to have a couple bottles of these handy when I, you know, feel that I need to use it. Next up is the Benton Cacao Moist and Mild Toner. So this is something I've had open for a little bit too long. So I really pushed myself to get this empty and you heard it. I had to push myself to empty this because this just like I like it there's nothing wrong with it I just don't love it it doesn't bring me a ton of joy and as somebody who loves toners you know this just it isn't it for me it's light and watery but it doesn't have that real deep hydrating sensation that I am so searching for in my toners so if you're dehydrated if like all of my toner recommendations have worked really well for you don't bother with this I don't think you're going to be impressed with this if you're somebody who just like likes to use a toner occasionally but you don't find your skin to be very dehydrated I think you will actually like this because it is light it's layerable it's a nice toner it's just that one little element for very thirsty skin is missing next up I have a two for one this is the isn't tree hyaluronic acid toner and the hyaluronic acid toner plus 
Let's start with the original. This is the clear version. This has three different types of hyaluronic acid in it, and it does have that like thicker type of toner texture, like a little bit more gel-like, but it's still kind of on the looser, watery side. And I do feel like this is a little bit better for those who maybe have a little bit more oil on their skin or don't appreciate a lot of thickness or moisture in their toner. This is the version for you, the original. Now the blue bottle is the toner plus version. There's five different types of hyaluronic acid in here. And when you get more hyaluronic acid together um, in the bottle, it actually produces a thicker, uh, more gel, like syrupy kind of texture to it. Like this has body yachty and bounce to it. It will make your skin so plump. Like you will be doing like that little pillow, like pop on your cheeks. Do you ever do that after skincare? Like Ah, with all that extra hyaluronic acid, you're getting more of a moisturizing feel. Like it's not just hydration. It's not like light and watery. It's more thick. It's more comforting and moisturizing on the skin. Even just a touch, maybe it has like a little bit of that hug it in occlusive quality to it. So that's why I think that drier skin types appreciate this one much more. So that's really the difference. I think they're both excellent. I mean, they are cult classic products for a reason, but they definitely do serve two different skin types. I literally still have so many toners to get through. All right, Make Preem Save Me Relief Essence Toner. All right, so this is probably my number one go-to toner. You already know that. If you know me, you know this is it for me. If I was not running a YouTube channel, like I probably would still be flirting with other toners because there's still some like really good ones out there. And I'm going to share a few with you in just a second. But like, honestly, if I was like decision fatigued and I was like, you know, what? I don't want to try anything new. I just want to go with what works. I would always use this. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how like deep my love runs for this toner. It just hydrates my skin so good. It's light, it's watery, it's layerable, it's deeply hydrating. Those are all qualities I seek for in toners and it actually isn't always that easy to find. So like this is special because of those things. So here is a tiny toner, a 150 baby toner that I went through really fast. This is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. So I bought this at the beginning of the the year in like a big style Vana uh, haul that I did. And I believe that I featured this in a couple of videos in the spring. And I know it was a favorite. I don't know if it was in April or in May, but it was a favorite. And this is actually a toner that I didn't really love at first. And as I started to use it a little bit more, it grew on me. And that happens with skincare. It's not always love at first use or like ick at first use. Like sometimes like products fall in the middle. And that's kind of how it was for me and this toner. And I do want to flag this as another affordable option. Um, this one, I think I paid $9 for it. So even though it's a baby size, that was definitely worth uh, worth it for $9. Next is the V Green Mucin Essence Toner. Let me tell you, this is like a really bouncy, juicy toner with some body to it that will give you that like plump feeling on your skin. But you know how like some of the toner suit that have that type of texture can be a little bit moisturizing, like the, uh, the uh, Isn't Tree that we talked about. It can be kind of moisturizing or it can just feel kind of thick. This isn't, this is so, so juicy, but it's not thick on the skin. It's really incredible the way that this just like bursts into hydration on the skin and just like settles in this really light layer that's so deeply hydrating, but it doesn't have any stickiness or like that moisturizing factor. It really boggled my mind because based on the texture, I wasn't sure if I was gonna love it. I loved it. And this was like my summer toner. Next is the CeraVe Hydrating Toner. So this was a surprisingly great toner. And um, I didn't really know what to expect from this. I didn't have very high hopes because as you saw, all of my toners, this is the last one, I promise, all of my toners were K-Beauty, right? And I just think that they're so good at their craft. Like Korean skincare knows how to do a hydrating toner. Fight me on this, but like, I just don't think that like American brands or European brands have really caught up on how to make a really elegant, deeply hydrating toner. This is a solid hydrating toner. Like they really, they really did a good job. Now it's just a watery toner, but it does have deep hydration. It's got the barrier supportive elements, which I think is why I like it so much. Um, it's not, elegant like in the texture it's not like super fun or bouncy or juicy or anything like that but if you just need an affordable like really hydrating toner like if you're in the states or CeraVe is very accessible to you and you just want to go down to the store and get it instead of ordering online this 
is the toner I would recommend. Mm, okay, I lied, there's more toners. <laughs> so this is a tiny little travel size of the Keep Cool and Soothe Bamboo Toner, which was an old toner favorite of mine. I don't think that Keep Cool is a brand anymore, like I don't think they exist. Or um, they're rebranding and they're gonna come back as something else. But uh, yeah, I think the, the brand itself, I think it just, it just went away. That happens sometimes. Um, so you can't get that anymore. Um, something else I wanted to share with you though are actually toner pads. These are from Casa Rex. These are their Sika toner pads. So I really like these. I actually really enjoyed the Sika line from Casa Rex. I think it, they've got really good products in there. The toner, the Sika toner from Casa Rex, chef's kiss so good like you know how i like watery layerable toners that deeply hydrate well it does that but it also has all the centella in it that really soothes the skin so if your skin's feeling a little bit irritated and you need that calming effect the costarex sika toner really does that so it's basically that just um soaked toner pads all right a few essence products to share with you i emptied not one but two of the misha artemisia essence so I'm just playing the hits here because I'm going through so many of my old favorites. I love this. This mugwort essence is so calming, so intensely, deeply calming to the skin. And what I really like about um, mugwort in general, but like this essence in particular, it really helps to reduce redness on the skin, which I really like because I always have a little natural redness around my nose and like under my eyes. And this definitely helps. Or if you have inflamed pimples that are red, this can kind of help calm them down if you have irritated skin this helps calm it. it's just so soothing and of all the mugwort products that I've tried I really do stand by the fact that I do think that this one is like the highest quality one on the market like if you're looking for the most concentrated the most mugwort the highest quality premium mugwort product I honestly think Misha has done it next is Dr. Seracle vegan kombucha tea essence I use this actually all year round. I did use this in the early summer months and I loved it. Um, and then I emptied it and I was like, you know what? I don't need to buy this right away. Um, I'm gonna focus on some other things, but now that it's getting cooler outside, my skin is getting a little bit drier. I'm like, it's time. <laughs> It's time. And I'm so excited to get another bottle of this. You know, I love it so, so much. I'm like, my poor little bottle's a little worse for wear. It like cracked on the top and the label's all gross looking, but like it's what's inside that counts. And that creamy, dreamy, moisturizing, but never overwhelming texture. Mmm. I can't wait to get another bottle. Buy Wish Trend Quad Active Boosting Essence. When I'm um, going through breakouts, like multiple breakouts, that's when I'm gonna break out things like propolis and willow bark, and that's exactly what's in here. It's like 10% of willow bark. There's just a, like a whisper, just like a kiss of propolis in here, but this really does help with like gentle um, acne soothing, anti-inflammation benefits. It helps to reduce the redness. Willow bark is actually a natural salicylate, um, which is like a BHA, so it does help to gently, you know, help to exfoliate the uh, breakouts a little bit and kind of help get them up and out of your life. But it's not like a chemical exfoliant. So this is very gentle. Okay, we finally made it to serums and I don't have as many as I did with toners and essences, but let's kick it off with the Allies of Skin Liquid Panacea. So this is from the PSA line from Allies of Skin and that line is their more affordable line. If you want a taste of Allies that's of Skin for a more affordable price, check that line out. Um, I really like Liquid Panacea. It's kombucha and centella. It is a calming, kind of creamy uh, emulsion type of serum texture, which like, you know, I cannot resist. <laughs> If it has a creamy, hydrating, moisturizing like texture in a serum, I'm probably, probably going to love it. Like probably I am. We've got good odds there. But it's also really calming. Like it's great for your skin barrier. Like it's just great for skin health. And I really feel like when I was using this, like my skin just looked a little bit like more lit from within. You know what I mean? Like that real healthy glow. This is that healthy skin type of product that just felt good. It was plumping. It was moisturizing. It it was balancing, it was calming, and it made my skin look so good. Skin 1004 Centella Ampule. Oh yeah, 100% Centella Extract. This is such a great minimal uh, serum when your skin is maybe just a little bit irritated or a little stressed out. That's actually, that's how I finished this bottle this summer is my skin was just feeling a little bit sun stunned, a little bit stressed out, and that's when I pulled this out because it's 
so gentle. It's so watery. It's so light. And then it's got all the centella on it. The longer that you use this, the stronger your skin is going to feel. The longer you use it, the more soothed your skin is going to feel. And the longer you use it, the, the less redness you're going to see or inflammation on your skin that you're going to see. I emptied another bottle of the R&W Ceramide Plus Serum. Are you surprised? No, you are not. I think this is empty number three, but it might be empty number four. I've kind of lost track. I have to be honest with you. This is just a staple for me. I go back to this time and time and time. Again, you've heard me talk about it a lot. Ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids. We also have niacinamide in here and well aging peptides. Like it kind of is just a really good, well rounded serum. So if you're just kind of looking for something to give it all to you, you know, something that's gentle, something that supports your skin barrier, something that has the peptides in it that stimulate collagen with a little bit of brightening and a really nice emulsion y texture. Are you surprised? No, you're not. Um, emulsion y type of texture. So it hydrates and plumps with a little bit of moisture to it. Like this kind of has it all. All right, let's talk about facial oils. I did empty yet another bottle of the Ordinary Chia Seed Oil. I'm not really sure what oxidized <laughs> on top of my little dropper here. I don't know why it turned orange, um, but I love this oil so much. This is such a great like medium weight oil. Like it is between squalane oil and like marula oil is kind of where I would classify it as far as weight. And that's like just the right weight that my skin really appreciates pretty much in all seasons. Like for me, this is like a go-to all seasons oil. And a big reason why it's a go-to for me as well is because it is so affordable. Um, it's about $9. So it's a really great oil that supports your skin's moisture barrier. It's actually really great if you do suffer with dehydrated skin because the omega uh, fatty acid profile of this oil is very good for your skin barrier and for dehydrated skin. And it's just that right texture that I love, love, love. This also is kind of nice in hair as well, so it's multitasking. A new oil that I emptied was the Ghost Democracy Soft Glow Facial Oil. So this was definitely a monthly favorite. It was either April or May, I can't remember, um, but definitely a favorite. I love this oil so much. Now this is an oil blend. Where the chia seed oil, it was a 100% chia seed oil. This is a blend of lots of different oils with all different types of fatty acid profiles. And I would say this is still a medium weight oil, but this definitely helps my skin barrier. Um, I really do feel like this was a very supportive for the barrier while also being that nice, just in between type of texture that gave me just the right amount of moisture that my skin was craving. A couple of eye cream empties. The first is the Claire's Fundamental Eye Awakening Gel. So I'm really proud of myself because this takes a super long time to empty. I've emptied a few of these before, but like, I don't know why this just really seems to last for a long time, which is great. It's a great value. And it's a little bit more unique among my favorite eye creams because it's more of a gel uh, texture and it really hydrates and plumps right under here, which like I need all the hydrating, plumping and smoothing I can get under my eyes. This delivers with just a hint, like a whisper of moisture to it. It is like my go-to for summertime. I use that all summer long because I just love that juicy texture. And it's got um, all of the like well aging powder peptides that I like, like copper tripeptide one. Another eye cream that I empty that was a new, a new empty for me is the Allies of Skin Peptides and Omegas Firming Eye Cream. So I really like this eye cream. I hate the price. It's like $85. <laughs> um, but I have to say, I think it's worth it. And I don't say that about a lot of extremely expensive eye, uh, eye products, but like, I really want to get another one of, of this one. I don't think I'm going to do it soon. I have to be honest with you, but I really Really want to because this is formulated so smartly um, this really kind of hits so many different under eye concerns it helps to target fine lines and wrinkles it helps to target um, your moisture barrier and it also targets a darkness underneath the eyes there's some vitamin C in here and I think that that was the real secret um, to the success with this I do have some genetic like it's it kind of shows up more like redness underneath my eyes but it is like a darkness um, and it is pretty genetic, but it definitely looks worse when I didn't get enough sleep. This really helps with that a lot. It has like a nice buttery uh, texture to it too that just like melts into the skin really nicely. Super duper enjoyed. And I felt like I got the right, it does look tiny, doesn't it? But I feel like I got about three and a half, maybe four months of like um, morning and nighttime use out of this. So I think it was a good, um, 
it, it lasted a good amount of time. Um, I'm very, very sad to see it go. Like I said, it's gonna take me a while to probably replace this, but like I want to get this back in my routine. And of course I have another empty of Stradia liquid gold. So my print on my bottle just completely like came off. Um, I've told you about this with other empties in the past, the bottle that I have right now. So I don't remember when I emptied this. It must have been, it must have been right after the last em Epic Empties video because the one that I have open now is about to empty in like probably about a week. And I just did a reorder and I got two cause I got it, I got a 20% off coupon. So I bought two. So you know, you're gonna see this over and over and over again for me. But it's just funny because the print is rubbing off of this one. And the one that I have now that, like I said, it's about to empty, the print really didn't rub off of it. So I don't know what happened with this bottle. I think I had two bottles that did that. Um, so I'm not really sure but uh, maybe the problem solved. Oh, okay, are you tired yet? <laughs> I'm getting there. We are getting to the finish line, but I have so many sunscreens to share with you. All right, first up, the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Airy Sun Stick. This is actually great if you are on the go, because of course you can reapply it with your face, but it's super good for like tops of the shoulders, things you don't think about like the tops of your hands. I took a bike tour when I was in Greece and um, I did when we would do little stops, I would like just top off here, which is a lot easier than using like a lotion, right? Type of sunscreen that can make your hands slippery and greasy. I actually use this to do the tops of my hands because you know when you're on a bike, right? The sun is getting right on your hands. So this is really handy just to like, reapply on the go or if you're on vacation. I do have the squeeze tube version, the lotion version as well. This is the watery sun gel. So you've heard me rave about this one. You know that I love it. I just already raved about it. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. Do I have a backup? Yes, I absolutely do. Let's talk about another sunscreen that I always talk about. That's the Beauty of Josan Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotic Sun Cream. It didn't get a lot of use in Greece just because it is not that's water resistant. I sweat right through this in the hot, hot uh, grease sun. Um, but for here in Wisconsin, <laughs> very different climate, right? Um, this is perfect, love it. Do I have a backup? Oh, I have multiple backups. A sunscreen that I really like during the summertime is the Neutrogena Clear Face SPF 50. So I discovered this last summer and it really served me because it is a water resistant sunscreen that just doesn't have a thick feeling. Now this is a uh, American market sunscreen, so it doesn't have the super elegant filters um, or the super duper elegant texture, but when you're sweating a lot, um, you just really need a sunscreen that's just gonna stick to your face. <laughs> Whenever I put sunscreen on my chest, I always break out. I always get all these little pimples on my chest from sunscreen. I have to be really careful about what I put here. But for whatever reason, this just doesn't seem to cause that for me. So this is like a real big winner for body sunscreen in the summertime, but it works really well on the face too. And this is like basically empty. I had about this much left and I had to throw it out, unfortunately. It is the Nivea Sun Super Water Gel. So I've been a fan of this for, I think over 10 years, like way, 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 way back when, when it was a little bit harder to get K Beauty and J Beauty products, and especially the sunscreens, this was my go to body sunscreen. And this is refillable. So I've been refilling this bottle for many, many, many years. Like I said, I had a little bit left. I have to get rid of it because this has been open too long. You don't want to keep your sunscreens open for over a year. They're not going to work for you anymore. So it's a little hot tip for you because I can sometimes keep my products for a little bit too long, but when it comes to sunscreen, you gotta be diligent with that. Okay, we're coming up to lotions and creams and moisturizers. I have something that I'm like, eh, about. This is the Sandra Lee MD Body Seal. So this was actually sent to me in PR. I did receive a couple other products from this brand. Sandra Lee, I believe is a dermatologist. I think she's Dr. Pimple Popper, I think. Um, so I'm not super familiar with this, but I was kind of excited because it's a dermatologist line. And this particular product, the Body Seal, is uh, for eczema prone skin, which I have eczema prone skin. So I was excited about this. I was running out of my body cream, so I decided 
decided to give this a whirl I did empty it so this is clearly not a bad product um, but it just didn't super duper wow me like I liked it I didn't love it and I just didn't think that it was anything that like reinvented the wheel and like most eczema products don't like let's be honest I don't know if it's just like a very clinical brand I don't know if it's just kind of a boring brand I'm not really sure but like I just wanted to share with you that, that like this is nice um, it's got like a kind of a balmy occlusive texture it was moisturizing enough but it just I don't know like maybe the texture wasn't like super fun or elegant um, or maybe it's the packaging I'm not really sure but like it just didn't give me as great of an experience um, as I was kind of seeking for I guess so it was like a yeah it's pretty good but am I gonna get it again no next is the Cetaphil moisturizing cream so this wowed me and this is a very like clinical boring sensitive skin type of product and um, I actually really really enjoyed this this does have almost that balmy kind of occlusive feel to it it is more occlusive than CeraVe moisturizing cream because I mean this is really competing with CeraVe right um, Cetaphil and CeraVe definitely rivals um, I do feel like this is a little bit thicker so if you like stuff that's a little bit more occlusive um, that really hugs your skincare in this is it um, I really like this as a body cream first and foremost but I know at the tail end of winter when my skin was so dry I was using this on my face and really loving it La Roche-Posay Lipicar AP plus balm I've got one open now and I've got a backup of this like I'm set I I, I love this so so much the texture it's just a little bit more enjoyable than um, than the Sandra Lee was for me like it just melts into my skin it feels kind of silky it just has the kind of like it just gives you a moment and maybe that's why I like I'm like oh I I love this but like with the other one I was like eh you know skincare is really individual we always say that about like skin types and things that your skin reacts to but skincare is really individual on what brings you joy too you know you can love packaging or scents or textures there can be experience elements to skincare that are crucially important right to your to your loving a product or not it's not just about like the best ingredients right it's about everything coming together so speaking of CeraVe I have two empties I have the mini and then I have the full size too and this this is what I took with me to Greece so I had the mini in my liquids bag with me and that was for my face and my hands um, on the airplane and then in my checked bag I had this full-size tube and this was for my face and my body that's really a trick for um, packing especially if you like a multi-layered routine and you're you know traveling and you're like oh how am I gonna do this get your double like duty products this was a face and body cream like I was talking about the chia seed oil I use it for my face and for my hair see where you can double up uses on your products so um, I actually emptied this when I was in Greece because this barely lasted me um, I did end up getting some of the La Roche-Posay Lipicar AP plus cream when I was in Greece to uh, supplement for my body cream um, but I did empty this in Greece one of my favorite hand creams is the Shiseido Your 10% cream I did uh, quite a haul of these a few years ago I got a lot of bottles because this is such a great hand cream when your hands are like really dry um, but they're like they're so dry that they're actually itchy you know that feeling in the middle of winter and then like your cuticles and stuff are like so hard and like the skin is just it's just so dry urea is really really good it's a great moisturizer but it also helps to soothe the itch and it can actually soften those really hard patches of skin urea really helps to soften that out so this is a really great cream 10% you can use this on your feet too if you get really rough skin on your feet this is the 39th empty it is the hero mighty patch pimple patches not too much to say here these are pretty well performing pimple patches that definitely help suck the juice out of those pimples okay we just counted down 39 skincare empties for three months I am feeling incredibly accomplished I love seeing all those empty bottles and I'm curious have you emptied anything recently let me know in the comments if you love this video if you love this vibe if you love skincare but you haven't hit subscribe 
subscribe yet, please consider hitting subscribe. I release a lot of epic empty videos just like this one and lots of other skincare content too, and including shorts. So you may consider turning on notifications so you're never out of the loop. All right, I am exhausted. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, but it was a little bit taxing. So I'm gonna go. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. And I love you so much. Thanks for being here with me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.